Northeast Mississippi attorney has filed a lawsuit against United Furniture Industries claiming the company violated federal labor laws when it fired all of its workers last week. Ellie Martin spoke with attorney Casey Lott as details on the lawsuit and what could happen going forward. We have one client who is a cancer patient who now can't pay for her cancer medication because her health insurance has been terminated and United isn't offering its employees COBRA coverage. This is just one story attorney Casey Lott says his firm has heard about from former employees of United Furniture Industries, which also owns Lane Furniture. Within a day after United Furniture Industries employees were notified by text or email that they no longer had jobs, Lott of Boonville-based Langston and Lott sued the furniture maker, alleging violation of the Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act, also known as the Warren Act. So the Warren Act applies to employers who employ more than 100 employees, and United well exceeds that threshold. And the WARN Act requires employers, large employers such as United, to give at least 60 days notice of their intent to um, initiate a mass layoff. Lott says his firm is getting 50 to 75 calls every day from former UFI employees asking about their legal options. The lawsuit has been filed in the U.S. District Court of North Mississippi. He also says the court has been asked to certify the case as a class action lawsuit. If that happens, the lawsuit would proceed on behalf of all 2,700 former employees. If the case is not certified as a class action, then each individual employee will have to assert their legal rights to protect their legal interest. And so right now we're fielding a lot of calls from affected employees and we're agreeing to represent all of them. While Lott says there are a lot of variables and unknowns in the case going forward, he says he is surprised the company took such drastic action with the mass terminations, apparently without regard for the Warren Act. We were really shocked by how mismanaged this layoff was. And, you know, they're required to give notice under the Warren Act, 60 days notice. They didn't do that, but they did send out notice on November 20, well, with a letter dated November 21st that they didn't postmark until November 23rd that said they were providing employees with notice under the Warren Act. Well, by that time, they'd already been terminated. Langston and Lott is taking the cases on a contingency fee basis, meaning they're not charging clients any upfront fees. Telling your story in Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News. Attempts to reach corporate leaders and legal counsel for United Furniture were unsuccessful. 